Hey y'all, it's Jody. Um, I was just gonna come on and give a quick update and let you know why I will not be able to put out a Fall Food Friday this Friday. And that is because we are evacuated from our home because of Hurricane Sally. Um, we left our house really late Monday night and got to Florida at about 4 a.m. And really, we were probably one of a handful of people that we know that evacuated at all. Most people stayed because it was supposed to go west of us, wasn't even supposed to really hit um, hit us at all. But what ended up happening was the, uh, the eye wall just pummeled. Went straight over our yeah. town um, when it made landfall and it was 105 mile per hour winds. And um, so we just laid in bed at the hotel and just like, watched the news stories and watched our friends talking about how scary it was. And we had our camera inside our house on uh, for a while so that we could, uh, you know, just kind of see. And so we would hear all the noises that sounded like things were being ripped apart. And that was until we got the notification that our power went out. And then the power has been out since. And that was, um, what was that, Tuesday night? That was... That would have been Tuesday night. Yeah, late. So it would have been late Tuesday night. And then night. all Wednesday. So, and then today's Thursday. Um, and it's just, our town is like demolished and there's flooding and there's no power, no water. Um, so we are going to go and meet my mom tomorrow. And the kids and I are going to go stay with my family in Texas. And then John is going to head back to the house and check for... Um, water damage and roof leaks anything like that that could have happened on the inside because all we know of right now are just pictures that people that are in town have sent us from the outside damage of our house so um, I have a few pictures I'll probably insert those here just so you can see what all we know yeah, we, so far and all we, house, know we don't know yet is one uh, side of our house I guess the south side of our house which is the side has a whole bunch of uh, um, siding. siding missing and uh, you can, yeah. um, our trampoline so we anchored down our trampoline in the backyard um, with all the legs and in the pictures we got the anchors and the legs are still there but our trampoline is like four houses down all wadded all up and mangled just, it's mangled um, so that flew away and then um, our fence is down everywhere but anyways but there's about half the people in our neighborhood that have a lot of water damage and leaks that happened and then there's half that didn't so we really won't know until John gets back um, so we're gonna we're getting a generator here and he's gonna go and and then of course he'll go to the church and work and start helping people with you know any relief efforts that we can to help everyone else in the community but so we don't really know what what all we're kind, of, we're, gonna be doing we're kind of flying blind right now. We don't really have a plan. And for the last couple of days, we haven't really had a plan. We've just been staying at a hotel, trying mm -hmm. to figure things out, trying to get information really from other people. We're just that we have power and toilets because and, everyone in our hometown is, are just struggling. But um, so we feel kind of helpless. But um, that's, that's about it. We don't really know much yet. Um, when we did move from Texas to the Gulf Coast, um, I said, I told my mom, I was like, I promise if the news ever shows the little cone and that it's definitely going toward our town, we will leave, we will evacuate, we won't stay because everyone was so worried about us going so close to where there's bad hurricanes. Um, and this was like the 16th anniversary of Hurricane Ivan, was that Ivan? Yeah, that Hurricane destroyed Ivan. everywhere where we live and now this one has. So um, so I think that's, we just ended up on Monday, they were going back and forth. It's turned into category one, it's turned into category two. It might go, you know, this way, it might turn a little. And we were just like, it really you know wasn't. What? It's, yeah. it's close enough that it's too close for comfort. And we feel like we need to leave and we're glad we did. Yeah, and it wasn't projected to hit the Alabama Gulf Coast, but uh, it was supposed to be on the, the Mississippi, happen. Alabama, um, kind of border really more into Mississippi. And really we only evacuated at that time because we didn't want to be without power for a couple of days. Obviously, you mm -hmm. know, Jody's pregnant and I didn't want to have to put her 
through being um, you know a couple of days without power, and uh, so we we went east. It was kind of like we just got through the coronavirus ordeal mm -hmm. and everything happening and being difficult, and then I just thought, if we're sitting here with no power for a couple of days, you know, and the kids and just homeschooling you know we just didn't know how bad it would be we just thought maybe no power but now it's looking like no power for weeks mm. um we have friends whose houses are completely flooded church members who there's a church member who actually passed away um cleaning trees or debris stuff like that um and there's just it's way worse than we could have ever thought so i, I i'm glad we left but i also just feel really bad yeah we're sad for people who have lost everything and uh there's a lot of people that had to be rescued even some members of our church had to be rescued from their homes um you know it started that night but the, you know the eye or it didn't actually make landfall till like the middle of the night um of course no one was sleeping we were mm -hmm. hours away and still weren't sleeping just worried we were just about there everybody watching else. our phones and watching our friends update and and say how scared they were and what it sounded like and posting videos and so I mean we couldn't sleep because of just the unknown what was going on at our house and what was everyone else going through so it's been a really really emotional few days but I'm obviously I'm not home and I'm not gonna be cooking anything and I don't you know we don't have any food or anything like that so maybe well just... but maybe you could do one from your mom's house next week that'd yeah, be fun we'll see <laughs> your mom makes some makes a lot of good food so you can get a recipe yeah. from her and do something but anyways well thanks for watching this update and um let me know you know anything you'd like to know or uh if you've been watching the news or if you've even seen coverage from the hurricane you know it seems like maybe it's not even getting a lot of coverage right now but that is what's going on and it's really bad and that's where we are.